Do you ever play Frosty Planet Pack of Oxygen Not Included and this happens? Ice forms in your pipes? Let's talk about that. First thing is to research improved plumbing if you haven't done so already. While research is going on, you can go after some igneous rock. It has some really good insulation properties to it. With the new insulated pipes, let's make this out of igneous and replace our line. A tip here, make sure your igneous source is as close as possible to your pipes. With our new insulated pipe, one of the dupes drops in some liquid water and that quickly gets into the pipeline and that is going to maintain its temperature much better than the regular pipe. We still have an issue though, if liquid starts freezing here and really cold liquid goes in, it could still freeze. So we have to deal with that. One solution to this problem is just having a really long insulated line such that you never actually have water stay here and freeze but I've got a much better solution. So here's the plan. Make a little sealed up room with a pump so we can create a vacuum, some airflow tiles with a liquid reservoir, and then we can get some liquid pipe going in and out. We'll do insulate it on this side, but inside of this it actually doesn't need to be, so this will just be regular pipe going in and out. And for reasons we'll explain later, put a little automation wire right here before we fully seal this up. A little tip, don't plug this pump in until everything's built and sealed off. With this area sealed up, it's time to plug this in so we can start to create a vacuum. So now we've got a vacuum in here and look at this. I can actually flip the pipes around. So we're going to direct liquid to go into this guy and out of it. Let's just disconnect this right here. And we've got a storage area. And because this is a vacuum, all this liquid you go down. We can see the temperature is not going to change temperature at all because it's sitting on top of a vacuum. Very, very nice. After a little bit of running though, we have a problem. This thing is filled up and we're just back to water being stored here, which is ultimately going to freeze. Though, remember that little automation wire we installed? Let's make use of that. So the problem we're having is everyone is just dumping too much water here, but it's actually pretty easy to throttle how much water goes in there. I'm going to put a double door system controlled by this guy here. We'll have the uh, bottom door controlled by whether we need water or not. And if I put 50-50, if it's 50% or less, it's going to have this door open. This door here is more of an escape door. It's in case someone actually gets trapped while they're there. We don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is say, you can always go out this way, but not back in. You can only go in if this thing is actually in need of some water. So let's watch this go down. We almost have 50% or two and a half tons. The moment we go over two and a half tons by water going into this guy, our door shuts, preventing anyone else from accessing this and having water freeze in this pipe. Just make sure you have an extra space because if you didn't have this, a dupe could actually stand here and access a bottle emptier that was right there. Now let's look at a boiler system because it might be such that you're actually adding water from somewhere else other than this ice liquefier and maybe that temperature is not warm enough. So here's the new boiler system. It starts off very similar as this a liquid reservoir, the pump to create a vacuum sitting on airflow tiles. We're just extending the airflow tiles over. Once we have all of this, we just need to make sure every inside piece is set. So we've got radiant pipe that's gonna take water and send it through outside water. That's gonna be heated up by this liquid tempidizer. And then that's going to go out towards the base. If it can't, it'll go back up in this line and create a cycle. We also have to have this temporary drop off. But before that, let's get this area sealed off, guys. You might want to get out of there. You do not want to be on the inside. Before you do, though, make sure you also have all the automation in place, including the thermo sensor and the control for the door. Plus, we also need to have power connected to the pump and liquid tempidizer. At this point, you should have a heavy watt wire system. Time to create a vacuum. 
With the vacuum made, we can start dumping in some water. We want to make sure there's enough water for the liquid temperizer to run. 500 kilograms or more, but not over a thousand such that attaches these tiles because that would cause freezing to the sides because we didn't insulate over there. Now we're directing water to go into the liquid reservoir. As it goes through, it's starting to go through this zone before it goes out towards the base so it can warm up. Don't forget we need the throttling system to actually close the doors, otherwise we'll get too much in here. Let's do that now. We now have automation to actually control this door so we don't get too much liquid in here. But what happens when you don't have enough? It may be the case that your pipes are drained a lot of the time. All you need to do is add an extra one of these guys to the side. If you want to be nice to the dupes, give them a little ladder so they don't have to get across and get their feet wet in the process. I hope this helps you survive on the Frosty Planet Pack. Thanks for watching.